welcome to our Scotland day two. Today we are checking out of our Edinburgh hotel and we are heading down to Falkirk later, but we have got the morning left here in Edinburgh. So what we are doing now is we are heading down to the Dean village. Um, there's not really anything there. It's more of like, um, it's more of like a picturesque kind of town and you just walk around it. There's a lot of like colorful, pretty houses and there's like a river and it's just nice and it'll be good for Max to have um, a walk before we travel off again this morning. So we can see, actually I don't know if you can see it anymore because the root rocks and trees are up there, but somewhere up here, oh there you go, you can kind of see it up there, the castle. Edinburgh Castle is up there on a massive rock. This is kind of the back streets of Edinburgh at the minute, heading down to Dean Village. So I'll show you a bit when we get there. I'm sure there'll be so many picturesque things and give Max a good walk and then oh I know what else we're doing before we leave we're heading to um climb Carlton Hill we are climbing up Carlton Hill as well before we leave and then <laughs> we are checking out the hotel and leaving so Dean Village uh Carlton Hill then heading to Falkirk this is the back of Edinburgh Castle we've just turned the corner and this is like the whole back of the castle which we haven't seen before got little Max here Dad's doing a vlog or a photo, I think. We'll carry on our journey, but I just wanted to show you the little Edinburgh castle from behind, because I don't think many people see it from this way. And it is still quite cool when it's up on the rocks. Another little thing that I forgot to mention is today, Max has got on his little tartan bandana and his bow tie, I don't know if you can see it. But then I have got on my matching hair bow. Hopefully you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see my hair bow? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is my matching um, hair bow clip, which matches Max's bandana and bow tie. There we go, look. Matchy, matchy. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I think technically we are now in Dean Village. We just walked past the Dean Bridge. We didn't cross over it because apparently we have to go down this way. But I think that means we're in Dean Village if we just passed the Dean Bridge. So when I was looking up Dean Village, I saw, I guess if you type in Dean Village, this particular picture will come up. And it's of like, I, I assume it's a house, it might not be, but it looks like a house and it's overlooking like a little river. And it's like such a picturesque little like photo with like the nature trees and like flowers. And then there's like the river and like the houses are like all colorful. So that is what I'm trying to find. And what road was it on? It's on Hoar Thornbank Lane. I think I'm saying that right. Hoar Thornbank Lane or something. And that is like where the picturesque like river and like house, the thing that I'm trying to find basically that when you type in Dean Village pops up. But apparently there is also, but apparently there is also some like really nice like houses, like some bright yellow ones and some like nice curvy streets. Can't see anything yet, but I don't think we're too far out. This is the road we're walking down at the minute, Belford Road. So it's starting to look a little bit like the pictures. There's like a lot of big brick, big brick things and like a little curve up here. So we will see in a minute. Oh, this looks like a little bit more like Dean Village look. There's like a big spire. I'm not sure what that is part of, but a little spire there. So I think we are almost at the place. It says just to go up here, round this corner and back down here. And then I think under that little bridge or tunnel thing is where like the nice little picturesque thing starts. But here's a little closer look at the little spire thing. So it looks like we've arrived Hoare Thornbank Lane. And if you look under there, it is definitely the start of the little picturesque things look. Oh, I can't wait to see what's down here. So it looks like a little bit of a crowd is forming over here. So I'm assuming this is where the nice, the nice little bit that I was looking for is. Hmm? Somebody, somebody was really eager to get to the bridge and he went really close to this jaggedy spiky wall and he got me a little bit too close to the wall and I've scraped my elbow. Oh dear. He was too eager. So now I'm making him sit. Hmm? Now he has to sit for a little while. Right, let's go have a look to see if it definitely is the thing I think it is, but I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Oh yes, here it is. Let me zoom out. 
Look at this. So here is the rivulet. There's the river and the nice little brown building. Look at all of this. We've got the bridge and all the buildings of the river. It looks so pretty. Look at this. Look at the view. We're on the bridge currently. Look at the view. This is so picturesque, isn't it? I told you. I looked up the images online and it looks exactly like it. Unfortunately, we can't, we don't have time to look around the whole of the Dean village. We can only see, but we did see the like the lakey rivery part with the colourful houses, which I wanted to do. And then the yellow building street is literally just across the river. So we're going to go do that one quickly. And then we have to go check out the hotel. So we're going to climb the Carlton Hill after we check out, but we really need to get back to check out, grab our bags and everything. So maybe we can do Dean Village another time, but from what I've seen, it's, it's really lovely and I'm glad I come see it. So down here is where the yellow buildings are, but if you go right to the top, if you go like right up there, it's a very, very narrow um, little like start to the street. And it looks really cool because it like goes down on a curve with the yellow and it's like really narrow and it's cute. So I'm going to head up there quickly. And have you seen the little bridge over there, look? Yeah. That looks nice. See, it gets narrower as you get to the top. And this is where I've seen the cool pictures from. It's from this way, looking back down. So now if I turn back around... See, it's on a cool little yellow curve and it looks really cute. If I do it this way, well, you won't be able to see. Very nice. Very nice. Sure. We have made it to Carlton Hill. A little, just a little quick visit before we head on to Falkirk. But I just wanted to have a little look at like the views and the things here. I mean, look at that view. Let me turn the camera around, hang on. So over here, you've got this massive view of like the city and the sea. We've got this a big domey building up here. Over here, we've got this like old looking, like a Coliseum style thing. What's the matter? <laughs> we've got this Coliseum style building here, this big tower thing here, and more views of the city. Look at this. That looks so cool. Look at the cute doggy, huh? by this i'm not sure what it is really but there's quite a few things dad's gone over there to that building because apparently it says you can get free entry in it with a donation or something but we're not entirely sure what it is or whether max will be allowed in there so he's gone to check and then um i don't know i think he wants to take a walk down there there's like some sort of cannon down there i think and I want to go, like, I think a bit more up there. Right, so apparently Max is allowed in this, but we still don't know what it is. So I guess we'll find out when we go inside. Hmm? What's through here then, Max? City Dome. Free exhibition. Here's the dome. I think it's just um, an art exhibition. <laughs> um... <laughs> That was weird. What was that? <laughs> they look like some sort of octopus tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out it was just like an art exhibition thing, but dogs weren't actually allowed in the art exhibition bit, oh, just round, scary. just round the outside. So that thing in the art exhibition when we accidentally walked in the door was so weird. So weird. <laughs> this is the other bit that I wanted to see, look. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure what it is, so if anyone wants to leave in the comments what these things are that I keep seeing. But this I wanted to see, and it has the view of Edinburgh that lovely. Yeah, view of Edinburgh that way. <gasps> Look, that's Arthur's seat. We climbed that. We climbed that yesterday. Now, I don't know whether we went up that bit or whether we were up that bit. I just noticed you can see Edinburgh Castle behind it. I think that is Edinburgh Castle. I'm sure it is. Can you see it? Right there. Is that Edinburgh Castle? I think so. Look at Dad down there reading that little sign. He can come back and tell us what it says. My legs ache, I can't make it down there. Ooh. 
Where are we going? That Careful! Look! Uh, we oh. View from here, off the seat, and the, um, is it Holyrood? Holly, Holyrood Palace? Right, come in there, Max. Shall we go to the car now? Yeah, come in then. Max is going so slow. Come on. <laughs> Usually, Max is walking faster than me, but today... Oh, oh, stop there, stop there. Yeah, he's full of dirt again. Look at you, full we of were sitting dirt. On the, we were sitting on the grassy, dirty hill, weren't we? And it's like that very dry dirt that picks up on everything. So, he, oh my gosh, the back of your leg. We could have gone on the tram, but we didn't really go to the um, busy shopping bits. Didn't know we stayed tram. in the old bit. Didn't know there trams up here. Yeah. Also, while I'm recording, look at this the street. So if someone goes, Where are you? You can go, The street. And they're like, What street? And you'd be like, The street. <laughs> Just whilst I'm remembering, I forgot to say where we were staying in Edinburgh. So we were actually staying at a travel lodge, Edinburgh Central, but there's like three like Edinburgh Central ones. So we were on the one on St. Mary's Street. I think that was what it was. St. Mary's Street, Edinburgh Central Travel Lodge. They allow doggies. So that's like the main reason we got that one. And obviously it's in the center, so it's easy to get to. So I just thought I'd like to tell you a quick little like pro and con thing. So. It was a nice hotel, the staff were friendly. It's in a very good location. Uh, so like it's literally everything, like the castle was like 10, 15 minutes walk, all the shops are 10, 15 minutes walk. Everything was super close, but there was nowhere really for Max to pee <laughs> and go to the toilet. Like they only had like a car park, so he had to go in there instead of like, there wasn't not any grass, like at all. So that was that. Here's Max, he's just asleep. And we are almost at Falkirk, aren't we? Look at you. He's fast asleep. He's still exhausted from yesterday. We have just arrived and come out to see the Kelpies, which I describe as the giant horse head statues, but they're called the Kelpies. And we have just arrived uh, and we're gonna go see them. And luckily we have timed it so we can see them in the light and the dark. The sun is setting as we speak. So I'm gonna quickly do this vlog clip and get out so I can take some pictures in the daylight. And then at night time, they light up all different colors. I'm really excited. Look at this, you can kind of see them. This ice cream van's kind of in the way, but I'll see you, I'll show you better in a second. Look at the sunset. Look how pretty, it's all orangey. Right, Max, come in then. Come, Max. Here we go. Here are the Kelpies. Look at that, they are massive. That is so cool. And look with the sunset. Oh, they look so pretty. Gosh, who built these? Wow. Whoever built the Kelpies is really talented. My goodness, look. And look at the sunset. Wow. Are you having fun at the Kelpies, Max? Look, they're starting to go green. You can see the green. Oh, did you see a dog? Tell you what, do you want to go back? Ooh. Back now, then come. <coughs> Max. <coughs> what are you doing? Well, you be careful, then. <laughs> Turn around and face the camera. Yeah, <laughs> no. Are you facing the wrong way? You're looking at the cow piece. Look up here. Are you looking at the cow piece? It'll be alright. <laughs> We have just taken some photos by the Kelpies and now we are just waiting for it to go dark. The sun is starting to set, the dark clouds are starting to come in over that way. And so hopefully in not too long, it gets dark and it starts lighting up different colours. Like at the minute, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got blue lights in it at the minute. And I think it was green in it though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 
<laughs> but I tell you what, it is a little bit chilly. The whole couple of days we've been here so far have been so warm and lovely. And then right now in the evening, it's a little chilly. Like I've got my cardigan on, still a little chilly. Update, it is still getting dark. It is definitely getting darker. You can see over there. Isn't the sunset beautiful with all the orange? And we found these mini little horses there. So there's the mini horses and then the big horses. Isn't there, Max? You see all these horses? But it is slowly getting dark. I cannot wait. The lights are already kind of in it. You can kind of see the orange. Oh, I can't wait. As you can see now, it is pretty much almost dark and you can really see how they're lighting up. Look how much they're lighting up. It's bright blue at the minute. They also go the, the green and the orange, but look, I love the blue. I think the blue is my favorite. Look at them. They look so cool and dark. I don't know if I'll be able to show you all the colours because they take a little while to go round but there's blue, green, yellow, orange and red and this is kind of like the orangey colour at the minute. Now they're turning green. I think they're going to turn green. There we go. Now the horses have turned green. The Kelpies are green. Lovely. I do love the green and like I love all the colours but the blue is my favourite. The blue is my favourite one. But here's what green looks like. What do you think Max? Max just wants to sleep still don't you? He's just tired. <laughs> just thought I would quickly show you. It, oh I just missed it. I was gonna show you the blue. The blue was my favourite colour and I was just about to show you and now it's turned green but that's okay. I just wanted to show you the pretty reflection in the water. I've come a bit closer and there's water in the middle and you can see a cute little reflection. I actually think you're allowed to go in the Kelpies but um, obviously not now because it's closed but dogs can't go in so that's why I didn't go in but I think you actually can go in there if you want. At last I have actually managed to get the blue Kelpies. These are my favourite. The blue colour is my favourite. Let me know what colour was your favourite in the comments. But the blue was my absolute favourite. I love it. There we go. Just wanted to show you the blue before I left because I couldn't leave without recording my favourite colour. So there we go. Just quickly ending the end of this video because I forgot to do it last night. So just a quick little ending. I hope you enjoyed looking around Dean Village. What else did we do? Carlton Hill. And then, oh, the Falkirk Horses, the Kelpies. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. It is free to do and it helps me a lot. So that would be amazing. And I will see you in tomorrow's, not tomorrow's <coughs> video, but tomorrow's day I'm filming, which is today. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's all. Take care. Bye.